Happy Thursday. Uh, we are here at Neighborhood Cafe in downtown Lee Summit. Third and Douglas. Uh, yeah, Third and Douglas. Yeah, everybody knows where this place is at. Famous for their cinnamon rolls that they give you for free, apparently no matter what time of day it is. So, uh, awesome. Those are awesome. Big breakfast spot. Most people come here. Also another one at 75th and Warner. So, we are here today with Chanel from First United Title. Somebody's brave enough to come on and try the burger with me. So yeah. we're gonna try this thing, uh, basic cheeseburger. Bun looks a little thick on hers, but I got a double. And uh, we're gonna try them and then talk about wire fraud for a second. So, and we have guests next door, so feel free to come over. <laughs> so, go ahead. <laughs> All right, go ahead, we're gonna try okay. this thing. So not fair making me go first. No, you're going first, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Um let's say maybe 7.5. It's hand pressed. It's good. It 7.5. Wildly high. Uh oh, higher than you? Much higher. Okay. Um it's okay. It lacks uh, some flavor. It does lack flavor. A um, lot of bread. It looks to be honest, it looks better than it is, but I love this place. Um 5'9". It's just okay. Um, probably better with bacon, as somebody else got the table. So, yeah, still worth coming. The breakfast is awesome. Everything else looks really good. So, her score is just wildly high. So, wire fraud, real quick. Uh, recently, I had a deal, and I alluded to this in a newsletter, where, long story short, but the buyer side of it, uh, not mine, the buyer side of it got, the email got hacked. They transferred $82,000 to a fraudulent wire account. So this happened, uh, and we're not really sure how it happened, to be honest. It's not Chanel's style company, anything like that. But basically, we're here, and I want Chanel to talk about this a little bit, because she does it every day. The dangers of wire and kind of why things are going back. Any tips for these to avoid this happening to you? Because it just happened, what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? $82,000 sent away from a buyer. So yeah, go ahead. Any tips or anything you have? Um, you know, we tell everybody we're kind of pushing back more towards cashier's checks, just because so many people's uh, emails get hacked these days and you know they look real they look like yeah, they come from totally me real. they look like they come from Aaron um, so we always tell everybody if you get something you know confirm with your agent confirm with your title company um, you know we're just trying to be really careful about it but this stuff happens so yeah, I think, yeah, kind of leading, I think the biggest thing is communication, like making sure you're calling your agent. If you see an email, even if it looks completely legit, call your agent, call your title company. Don't do anything without calling somebody. Uh, don't go to the bank. Don't be in a hurry. So make sure nothing's going to not close. You don't send the money right then. So, yeah. Um, anything else? No. All right. Uh, closing. You should know. He's awesome. I have really good luck with her. We have not, knock on wood, we have not had anything bad happen yet. No, so, we're good. All right, this will wrap it up. Uh, enjoy your weekend, and uh, enjoy the Chiefs home over someday, I guess. That's happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.